Welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we will discuss all about the 8 month of pregnancy. If you have reached the 8 month mark of your pregnancy, you are almost there. The feeling of being full pregnant is most likely to hit you this month. You must have started shopping for your baby already, but it is around 8 months of pregnancy that you will consider making your house ready for the arrival of your baby. You are in the third trimester of your pregnancy and you must have realized that it is not easy. So, now we will discuss the symptoms at 8 months pregnant. 8 months pregnant, you may be faced with some brand new symptoms as well as those you have now. Hang is there if you are experiencing any of these this month. Shortness of breath. As your uterus grows, space in your abdomen is getting tight. Your uterus might be pushing your stomach up against your lungs, making it hard to take a deep breath. Give your lungs no room by standing and sitting up as straight as you can. Hemorrhoids. Increased blood circulation can cause enlarged veins that can sometimes be itchy or painful. When these veins pop up around your rectal area, they are called hemorrhoids. They are most common during pregnancy as the uterus starts to pressure on veins and restrict blood flow to and from the lower body. To try to prevent hemorrhoids, make sure you are eating enough fiber and staying hydrated and try to stick to the healthy weight gain recommended by your healthcare provider. If hemorrhoids do strike, apply an ice pack or run yourself warm bath for relief. Varicose veins and large veins can also appear on your legs. They might appear bluish and raised and they can sometimes be uncomfortable, sore or itchy. You might not like the way they look but they are usually harmless. You can try to relieve any swelling or pain by keeping your feet elevated whenever you can and avoid crossing your legs when you sit. Some moms to be find that wearing support whole skin ease some of the discomfort. Leg cramps. Leg cramps can hit during the third trimester and experts aren't entirely sure that trigger those uncomfortable cramps. To prevent them, stretch your calf muscles before bed and gently massage the calf using downward strokes if a cramp strikes. Your healthcare provider can also recommend some stretching exercise that may help. Fatigue. Not surprisingly, you may be feeling more tired this month. Eight months pregnant, your belly will have grown quite big and you may find it tiring just going about your day. It can also be tougher to sleep comfortably at night at this point in your pregnancy. Keep following your healthy pregnancy diet and with your providers, okay, continue exercise. These measures can help give you a much needed energy boost and help you sleep at night. Frequent urination. Your baby is dropping low into your pelvis in preparation for being born. As a result, you might feel as if your baby is sitting on top of your bladder right about now, causing you to head for the ladies room more often. If you find that you are leaking urine when you laugh, cough or sneeze, it may be helpful to wear a panty liner. Otherwise, try to make sure you hit the washroom before you leave the house or go into a meeting at work. Stress or anxiety. You might start to experience more emotional symptoms when you start to see the end of your pregnancy and the birth of your baby fast approaching. It's normal to worry about childbirth and how your life might change once you bring your baby home, especially if this is your first baby, it can help to take talk to family, friends, your healthcare provider, and other moms about your thoughts and fears to get some reassurance that things will work out. Braxton Hicks contractions. When you are eight months pregnant, you might start to continue to experience practice contractions known as Braxton Hicks contractions. These contractions are usually irregular, don't get stronger and don't occur more frequently. Over time, they usually go away if you move or change positions. Or leakage of breast milk. As a preparatory step for breastfeeding, the mother's body prepares the colostrum much in advance. During this month, you may notice that small amount of this colostrum or yellow milk leaking from the breast. Not all women will face this issue, though. If your breast leaks 
you can wear breast pads to prevent your bra and other clothes from getting spoiled. Back pain. The increasing baby weight and tummy will put pressure on the lumbar region of the back. It may also change it may also change the center of gravity. Consequently, many women during this phase experience back pain, especially after long hours of sitting or standing. If you experience back pain, you can correct your posture by practicing some simple pregnancy safe exercises or by using a pregnancy pillow. Eight months of pregnancy is the time when your baby will gain significant weight and grow quite rapidly. This will directly bring about a number of changes in your body. You may start noticing some of the following changes during this time. Your baby bump will obviously grow bigger than ever before. Around this time, urinary incontinence may kick in. A small amount of urine leakage may happen every time you sneeze, cough, or even laugh. It can be quite embarrassing in a line. Consult your doctor if it interferes too much with your day-to-day -day life. Also practice Kegel exercise to tighten the bladder muscles. Leakage of amniotic fluid may happen from the vagina for some women. It can be differentiated from urine based on the stronger smell and texture of the fluid. However, if the amniotic fluid leaks, you must consult with your doctor immediately. Your breast may also start leaking around this time. The breast milk, which is called cholesterol, may leak from your breast. Hot flashes occur for some women during the third trimester. You may get anxious, irritable, and impatient during the eight months of your pregnancy as the due date would seem near, yet it will be far. Each trimester of pregnancy with its own set of challenges, typically during the eight months, there are some of the problems affecting the mother and the health of the baby. Preeclampsia Preeclampsia is the pregnancy complication characterized by high blood pressure and protein in the urine. Women tend to have high blood pressure during this time. It is termed as gestational hypertension and can occur due to the stress or other health conditions. If this hypertension is coupled with high protein in the urine, it is termed as preeclampsia. Undetected or untreated preeclampsia can be quite harmful to the fetus as it decreases the blood flow to the baby. This concern should be addressed as early as possible. Preterm birth Preterm labor is a risk factor in the eight months as some babies are in the safari position and get ready for birth sooner than the full term. Other health conditions like preeclampsia and placental abnormalities can result in the emergency birth of the baby. Babies born in the eight months have a good chance of survival and require intensive care for many days. How will your baby develop during the eight months of your pregnancy? It will eat the eager question you want to know. First of all, we will discuss the size of the baby. Monthly to pregnancy, your baby who is now about 46 cm or 18 inches long and its weight as much as 2.27 kg or 5 pounds. We continue to mature and develop body fat reserves. You may notice that your baby is eating more. A baby's position changes from breech to cephalic during the 8 months of pregnancy. It means that the baby moves around and fixes its head. Inside the cavity formed between the pelvic bones, this is a very important step in the preparation of the baby for vaginal delivery. Once the head is fixed, the baby stops moving around in the amniotic fluid and stays put in the cephalic position until delivery. The neural connections in the baby's brain happen rapidly and baby's brain starts processing the baby. The sounds like from outside the womb. During this month, baby gains considerable weight. The baby's height also increases in this month. The amniotic fluid level may during every antenatal visit reduce around this time. It is a sign of development of the baby's kidneys. Displacement of the baby's testicle in baby boy or the development of vulva in baby girl happens during this month as part of the development of their genital organs. The soft hair that covered the baby's skin during the first and second trimester begins to shed and baby's skin starts maturing. Here we will discuss do's and don'ts. In your 8 months of pregnancy and you are almost there, you should be careful during this time. There are some do's and don'ts that you should follow as part of the 8 month pregnancy care and precautions. First of all, we will discuss the do's which you have to do. Eat healthy food. You are in the 8 month of your pregnancy and you might be eating healthy foods already. But this is just to remind you and encourage you to keep going. Have a balanced diet and have small meals but frequent choose from a list of healthy snacks options to satisfy your my meal hangers pants. Exercise 
Practice kettle exercises regularly to counter the problem of urinary incontinence. It will also help in the strength of your pelvic muscles after delivery. If you're not into exercises, you can simply walk or practice yoga. Walking or some kinds of some simple workout every day can increase the flexibility of your pelvic area. Stay hydrated. Remind yourself to drink lots of water regularly to keep your body hydrated. Drinking water will keep you energized. It will prevent cramps during this time. Get enough vitamin D. Vitamin D is very important for the bone health of your baby and for you as well. So bask in the sun in the morning hours or in the evening. Learn about breastfeeding. Equip yourself with the knowledge of breastfeeding and other baby care techniques. Join classes or online forms that will give you an idea of basic techniques. These techniques will come in handy once your baby is born. Practice. Prepare your hospital bag. Make a checklist of things that you will need to carry to the hospital. Also shop for things that you will require after the delivery, like soft cotton, sanitary pads, feeding gowns, breast pads, feeding pillows, etc. Plan your travel arrangement for reaching the hospital in case you get your labor pain. Also purchase the basic gender neutral essential for your little one. You will be left with very little time once the baby arrives. Now we will discuss the don'ts. Don'ts eat processed food or junk food. Eating junk food can lead to indigestion and even heartburn. Don't forget to take your vitamin and mineral supplements. Avoid practicing yoga poses or exercises without consulting a doctor or a training instructor. Don't stress yourself with the house of delivery. Photo of delivery and you can cross the bridge once you reach there. Worrying much ahead of time will affect your health unnecessarily. Don't drink smoke during this period and avoid irritative drinks and caffeine too. Now we will discuss the diet as with every month of pregnancy, even the 8 months of pregnancy, diet needs to balance include fibrous foods in your diet to overcome the problems of constipation that is likely to hit you this month again. Eating foods rich in omega-3 fatty acid or supplements at this stage is also necessary as it will aid your baby's brain. Development, it is better to avoid raw uncooked food, raw cell shellfish, Processed food, coffee, and unpasteurized milk at the stage to prevent food poisoning or allergic reactions. Tips for father to be as equal partner in the partnering journey, parenting journey, fathers also have a very important role to play both before and after the birth of the baby. Here are some things that soon to become dads have to keep in mind. Reassurance is the key. Through the entire journey of pregnancy, the mother goes through a lot of uncertainties about her hair, her baby's health, her looks, her future, etc. As a spouse, the best thing that you can do is to keep the assurance your wife catering to her emotional well-being is also very important at this stage. Lend a helping hand. For the growing weight and physical changes, household chores that requires a lot of hard work can become very difficult for the expecting mother. Helping her around with tasks at home can give her some time to relax and pamper herself. Pamper her. Give your spouse legs a good massage or even better. Book her a spa appointment and pamper her. Time and self-care are going to come to a street. Secretion hard as soon as the baby comes out. Make sure you give her the well dress. Deserve pampering before she takes on the daunting task of childhood. Plan your finances. Childhood and neonatal cares can be expensive, so plan your finance to support all the hospital bills. Take to your insurance company and understand how to claim procedure works. Hope I have explained all about the 8 month of pregnancy. If you like the video, then like it, share it, and also subscribe my channel to encourage me. Thank you.